Good evening, everyone. We are live. My mic's in the wrong position. Hang on, let me mute myself while I move my mic around. Okay, that should be better. Uh, let's turn the camera on. Hello, hi, we're live. And what are we doing today? Well, we're playing some more Grudo Exile. I've been having a blast with this so far. We are two streams in on this. We've got two dungeons done. Three if you count the Hyrule Castle escape. Uh, overall, it's been a great time so far. Been very much enjoying myself. And as I said on Twitter, you can really tell that this hack has its claws in me because I actually went back and reviewed the footage from the two streams that I've done so far and made like, I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but I made like a list of here's a bunch of things I want to go check out that I can do something at now. Um, so we're going to do a bunch of those and then we're going to try to find the next dungeon and clear that out. Um, should be a good time overall. <coughs> Uh, without any further ado, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Oh, as a reminder, uh, so, if you want to find Career Exiles Play for Yourself, uh, there's a link in the chat right there. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube later, because I am posting these on YouTube, I'll have a link in the description, so, look for it there. Uh, and if, and also, uh, this is a casual playthrough, no backseating, please. Um, I want to figure out these puzzles on my own. <clears throat> uh, wow, that's choppy. Um, and I guess also, speaking of YouTube, uh, there's a link to all my socials. You can follow me on Twitter, you can join my Discord, you can go look at my YouTube channel. I'm putting up my playthrough of this game on YouTube. Uh, I have the first two episodes up already. They're, they're unedited versions of these streams, so, like, there's gonna be breaks in there, but I try to put, um, uh, what's the word? The annotations, the, like, chapter breaks in the YouTube video so that when it does get to a spot where I get up and take a break, you can just skip to this is where the action picks up again. <clears throat> um, so... Anyways, that's a lot of preamble uh, before we get started, <laughs> but let's get started. So the first thing I want to check out, I'm going to spawn at the hideout because it's right outside the hideout. Uh, I might as well. <clears throat> da -da 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 -da. Is this cave, which I couldn't get into until I had the boots. Ooh. East and West Kovalent are divided by the Zora River. The Zora River comes from a spring deep in Tal Tal Heights. Aghanim's goon have built a tower to capture almost all the water. Oh, that would be the Mountain Cistern. And I got... Okay. So I found 20 loot... 20, 20 rupees in lore. Which, I, I like a good lore, so I'm into it. Uh, let me, th I have a pen here, let's cross that one out, <coughs> sure, uh, oh, I don't, I think I realize that the vultures die in one hit of the hook shot. Um, actually, one other thing. I want to pop out my chat so I can see you guys better. There we go. That's better. <clears throat> that way I can have chat and the game on the same monitor. All right. 
so... Uh, was it through here? <clears throat> yes. This is another spot I wanted to check out because I have the hammer now. I can hammer those pegs down. If you need me, I'm mushroom hunting in Akana Canyon. Okay. And 100 rupees. So again, money and lore. Ow. No bully. Go away. <clears throat> Have I been in these caves? Can I get into these caves? I can get into these caves. <clears throat> right. That needs a glove. And this needs... Oh, right. Do not attempt without 20 heart containers and 2 healing potions. Got it. Okay. <clears throat> Um, oh, I could jump in the... Can I jump in the water here? I actually don't know that I can. Okay. One second. Something is taking up a lot of background resources. And I would like to know what it is. And I would like it to stop. Because the, <clears throat> excuse me, the emulator keeps skipping, uh, which is getting irritating. Dun, dun. I mean, it looks like it's mostly just OBS is taking up a lot of CPU. I did change the quality of what I broadcast. So that might have something to do with it. That probably has something to do with it. If it gets to be too much, I, I may knock it back down again. Just another reason I really need to get my uh, my new PC out. So okay, that's over by Eastern. That is in Eastern. There's a cave to the south here. Yeah, this one. I think I can do something in here. I can get this chest. <clears throat> Which is 100 rupees. Okay. Uh... Did I not get the... Oh, I probably got that the first time, and then had that... If you've been watching since the first time I streamed this, I had an emulator crash. Um, unrelated to the game. And I think that's probably something that I forgot to revisit after that emulator crash. Because I remembered I had to redo the fight up there. So, that makes sense. Oh, I wrote this down as bottom of the well, but that's not really what it is. It's the uncle drop down, which is not this way, I don't think. <coughs> okay. Yeah, it's over here. Oh yeah, that's using a lot of CPU. I'm gonna have to tune this back down. But yeah, I noticed from the very first episode, there's a hammer. Oh, there's just a piece of heart over here. Cool. Uh, 
So I have to go through this again. <coughs> All right, so that's that done. Okay, by ranch. Everything else is over by Eastern. Let's... Alright. The stutters are bothering me. So, we are going to, on the fly, mess with some settings. Uh, I'm sorry if the quality gets noticeably worse. Mmm, okay. I can't change it while I'm streaming. Which makes sense. Uh, I'll just deal with it for this stream and I will modify it afterwards. Alright. <clears throat> we'll worry about it before next time. No, I'm, it's just bothering me too much. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the stream offline for just a f minute or two, mess with the settings, bring it back up. I'll be back in just a minute. Uh, so I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. I need to go offline for a little bit. Stick around. Hopefully that's a little better. A little better on the performance. Uh, I'm going to figure out how... I'll probably just have to splice the two videos together for YouTube. Which is simple enough to do. So, okay. First thing I want to find out. Uh, is there a shortcut over here now that I have the hammer and the boots? It does not appear so. I think I do still need to go the long way around. Okay. <clears throat> what was in this cave? Did I already get it? Was this just a one-time thing? This looks... That was just a one-time thing. Okay. Yeah. I hate to have to do that where I take my stream offline, but the... The audio crackle was just bothering me too much. Alright, I need a glove to get that, or to approach from a different direction. I can bonk that open, though. If I come down here... Uh... Yeah, okay, I don't know. I have written down in my notes here a hookshot cave near Eastern, but I don't remember exactly where that is. Maybe it was this one up here? I also want to just go all the way back to Eastern, because there, I counted, there's supposed to be four heart pieces in each dungeon, uh, and I missed one in that dungeon. Okay, this is just money, and some main mold arms. But I'll take some money. <coughs> Uh, 
Okay. So apparently, my current computer cannot quite handle uh, streaming at full output. Hopefully my new computer should be able to do that, which is just more motivation to actually get that out and set that up. Maybe I'll do that this weekend. Start figuring out what all needs to be transferred over. I'll probably have to finish off this game on the old computer, just so I don't have to mess with transferring save files or any of that nonsense. Uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Alright. So, this is the last thing that was on my list that I wanted to check. And not so much check as, I know there's a heart piece left in this dungeon. I want to get it. <clears throat> I think... So, from looking back at the footage, I think I know where it is. I just need to remember how to get there. Step one is going to be, uh, shoot, did I already screw this up? Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I can do this. Step one is going to be figuring out where the switch is, because I believe I need the switches to be in the other direction. So... Right, I can go down here, and I go through here, and this will lead me to the crystal switch. Perfect. Oh, I could have also used the lower layer, but this is fine. Put me in here, hit the switch. <clears throat> All right, now can I get to where I want to go? No, I need to go back upstairs. And I think now that I'm down here, the only way to do that is to Fall in the reset pit, yeah. Uh, no, no. Hang on. Hang on. I can do this. And I just want to go down here. Because <clears throat> I think it's in this room down here. Well, that's good enough for me. I'm just going to tank some hits. Called it. <laughs> Alright. With that, I believe I can save and quit is going to be the fast fastest way to get out of the foundry area. dungeon we got the flippers and the hookshot so I assume those are the items that we're gonna need to use to explore and find the new dungeon although I thought that the next dungeon was the royal catacombs and I've been there before so maybe I don't need 
those items at all? I don't know. I'm heading over to town to check a hint from the tavern. Real quick. Ow. Ow, ow. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh. I thought it was here. Maybe... Yeah. Eastern Foundry, Mountain Cistern, and Royal Catacombs. Okay. Well, I've been to the Royal Catacombs. Should I just head back straight back there? Or should I do some exploration? I kind of want to explore. So we're gonna do that. Like, what's in here? Ooh, do I have to kill all the fish before another one spawns? Okay, hang on. There's something interesting here. Wow, I'm just gonna walk into the fish and die. That seems bad. Okay, I need to reset the room because I let too many fish spawn. It would be easier with like a medallion, but who knows how long it's going to be before I get one of those. There we go. Yeah, it's just get all the fish clear from the screen at the same time. That's how you get behind the end. Okay. Cool. That was kind of worth it. Ooh. Hi. Ow. Could you stop? Please. That's an interesting idea of putting an infinite spawn point in a kill room. Where the idea is you just have to get the screen clear for a moment. All right, I can't go. Yeah, that's a wall. Cannot swim under the bridge. All right. What was I coming up here for? I don't recall. Oh, I know. I know what I was going up here for. There is... There are fairies. And also some bombs, which I'm not at full on. Okay. All 
All right. Um, where to explore? Actually, I want to spend some time north of the village. Northeast of the village. Basically go this way. And up here. Yeah, I want to jump in this water and see what I can find. Uh, nothing. Okay. Sure. There can be nothing in a pond. Why not? I don't want to go into Lost Woods. And this is not useful, right? That bush looked suspiciously placed. I don't know. Alright, this was a waste of time. Don't have a book yet. You're still looking for a book, right? Book in a cave somewhere. If you ever find it, please return it to the bookshelf. Okay. You know, I've made an assumption in my stream title and my going live tweet and all of that. There is, in fact, a dark world for this game. I don't know that for certain. We'll see. Uh, okay. I want to go south. Yeah, let's hop in the water here. See what I can do. What's in here? I think I see where this is going. It's a race. Eventually that statue is going to come back down there. Or maybe not, because maybe it isn't tracked when it's off screen. I don't know. But the idea is you have to race it while it's on the conveyor belt so that you can bonk on it to get across the pit and get the piece of heart. So let's see if we can do that. Not bode well. I'm bad at swimming quickly and precisely in this game. Yeah. Because of the conveyor belt, I can't pull it back. And that just drops me in the pit. Okay. Okay. Well, I know what I need to do. Should probably just reset now. Yeah, I should definitely just reset now. 
lest I take more damage. Like that. straight north as I go on the stairs and then go to the side. Come on. Nope. I did not make it this time. Because precise swimming is not my strong suit. <laughs> faster like I managed to do it without hitting anything there but I wasn't fast enough okay nope I'm just turning around there See, I want to do this now because I'm pretty sure I'm not getting any other tools to make this easier later. I don't think this is going to make it any easier. I should just take a death at this point. Not yet, but getting there. Well, I feel like I'm going to take a death, <laughs> whether or not I should. Oh, I'm just going to turn around there. Turn around there. Dang it. I'm doing so well until there. Does not seem like there's a way to cheese it. Yep, I figured that was gonna happen. All right. Fortunately, it's not too far away. Uh, unfortunately, I still, I now have enough health that I don't start fully healed. Oh, there's my fully healed. Well, 
let's try this again. We're gonna beat our heads against this for a little while. Dang it. Nope. Let's try going backwards. But slowly. Let's not take unnecessary damage at this point. I said let's not take unnecessary damage at this point. Please and thank you. As soon as I get this heart piece, I'm gonna save and quit. Just to make sure it's safe. I mean, that's. I don't need to do that. Never mind, that's not how this game works. Can I do something stupid like go up here to despawn the statue and have it respawn? That would be a way to cheese it. Die. So bad at precise swimming. Precise and fast swimming. It's not something that's asked of you in the vanilla game.
Hey, Yumiki. Appreciate the lurk as always. Nope. My hand's getting tired from all the smashing. <laughs> Take a break from what I was doing and check out what's in this cave. Defeat the mimic first and the bomb thrower last. No, not ever. Mimic first, bomb thrower. Oh, this is a weird thing. Something. Interesting. Uh, game? Hello? Warp tile? Do I have to reset the dungeon for that warp tile to work again? That's weird. I've decided we're doing this now because this is more of a puzzle thing at least. Okay, that was weird. I don't know what happened there.
20 of these bombs do you take? Four. There we go. Then I just stand here. Great. Oh, we've got a second. Ow! A second layer of this. Okay. Crap. Oh, this sucks. Um, oh, can I take damage for that too? I have to redo the first part. Gross. Oh, I don't have to redo the first part. Excellent. I might have to redo the first part if I have to reset. Like, leave the dungeon and come back. Which, hopefully, I don't have to do. Okay. Let me sit here and think about this for a minute. I'm glad I got the fire shield before I decided to do this. Because now I can just sit here. Oh. Okay, wait. Right. Don't die. <laughs> Okay. That's not what I expected to find here, but I'll take it. Uh, okay. Cool. I found the gloves. Those are kind of important, I assume. I'm just gonna farm some health here for a minute. Because I'm about to go back to... 
That stupid statue race. Okay, here we go. try cheese strat I don't know if this will work but we're gonna let that go for a little while and just wait okay should be long enough for the statue to have despawned Carefully. Oh, it didn't despawn. That's interesting. Okay, well, if it doesn't despawn, then this strat's not going to work. the end there. I was so close. But I managed to get through all that without getting hit. Which is definitely an improvement. Nope. I'm just gonna back off. Just a tiny bit off. Dang. It's very close on that one. Understand it. I specifically waited until after I had just saved and quit to do this. I reached over, I turned off the fan on the desk over here, and the emulator crashed. 
I don't understand how that happens. But, uh, that's what happens. Fortunately, we just saved. So I'm just gonna restart the emulator. And it's the weirdest thing, and I cannot, for the life of me, explain it. Why is this over here? It should be over there. Okay, let's get back into this. Yep, still have the gloves. doing so well. Here we go again. Nope. I'm just gonna reset. this point. Maybe I'm overdoing it. Maybe I don't need to mash nearly as hard. And I need to focus more on just control of where I go. Swimming in, uh, swimming in a straight line is deceptively hard in this engine at times. <laughs> okay. I immediately go back to mashing, of course. All right. I'm going to try one where I don't just mash as hard as I can and instead focus on control. Seems to be doing all right, actually. This part is what always trips me up. All right, let's mash a little bit now that I'm near the end, and I didn't quite make it, but I think if I hadn't, if I hadn't hit that one spike, I think I would have. So I don't need to mash as hard as I can. Oh, hang on, I was a little slow out of the gate there. Hmm. 
No, I had it. I think I had it. I screwed it up at the very end. Come on, get in there. No! <sighs> Maybe if I get all the way to the end, I can just grab the statue and pull it off the conveyor belt. And maybe that would be easier. Bounced off the wall there. I'm getting better at this, but still not quite good enough. I'm certain that cost me. Yeah. Not even particularly close that time. that's an easier mash than what I was doing. Alternating A and X. Rather than just single button mashing B. I just went out of my way for. Okay. Well, maybe those always have hearts. Let's test that theory. No. Rupees. 
Let's go again. Maybe if I can stick the ending here. Okay, never have to worry about that again. We did it. In fact, just to lock it in, I'm actually just gonna save and quit. Because I never wanna have to do that again. Okay. Back into the lake. What's down here and to the right? Because to the left just had that spot with the K. Oh, there is no to the right. Okay. I expected to be able to explore more water stuff with the flippers. Uh, there's probably more to the north that I could go do, but I know... The thing is, I know for a fact that the Royal Catacombs are down here, because I've been here before. They're like... Right up here. So let's try this. Let's head into the Royal Catacombs. Yep, Royal Catacombs. Okay. Now I did get a hint about this place that says I can't finish it all in one trip. So that's interesting. Okay. That could be a spot to refill a bottle. Actually, before I really get invested in this dungeon, I should probably take a short break. He says going deeper into the dungeon. of that, I wonder. Oh, I can jump. Ah, uh, go away. Can jump down here. Well, that takes me over here. Where I can get back to the beginning, but... Oh, do you think? I wonder... No? Huh. I would have figured that would be the solution, is you push this block down and now you have something to hookshot to. I can push this block down and have something to hookshot to from the other side, but I don't see how that helps. Uh, there's clearly something if I go up here. A heart piece. Okay, that only exists as a hint that there is something up here, as far as I can tell. Can't go any further that way. Oh, this block Gives me enough space to do that. Okay. I need a small key to go in there. Uh, hello, heart piece out of nowhere. So, real quick, since I'm tracking this, catacomb. I found two heart pieces.
There's another entrance. To access this treasure, first get the power of ice from Glacier Peak. Oh. Well, let's just look at... Perfect. Oh. Huh. So Ice Frog will go through this, but my other tools won't, is the implication I'm seeing here. Uh, ooh, that's almost cheesable. Wait a second. No, I think there's something more complicated going on here. But I am inclined to believe that it does in fact need the ice rod. I could like throw a frozen enemy onto this. And then what? I don't know. So, am I right that- yeah, those are hookshotable bushes, which I don't think they normally are. That could get me into the left side or the back side. Alright. I'm gonna walk into the back side here, I'm gonna pause, and I'm gonna take a break. Because I need more to drink and I need to stretch my legs. Alright, I'm going to actually pause out here because there's a timing component in the next room. So, let's be right back.
And we're back. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay. Uh, I saw a moving statue when I walked in here. So this is going to be a timing challenge of some kind. I'm going to not worry too much about the timing. Oh, I see. Oh, I can't. Okay. So it's this hammer, or bonk, bonk, bonk. Hook shot, hook shot, bonk. Bonk. Uh, hook shot. Hook shot. Bonk. Uh, hammer. Hook shot. Bonk. Hook shot. Nope. Uh, bonk. Shoot. Well, I've definitely screwed it up. Let's just. I want to go through this, see all the stuff that I have to do. Bonk. Bonk. Hook shot, hook shot. Bonk, bonk. Hook shot, hook shot. Hook shot, hook shot. Uh, there's a hammer in there. But... Hook shot here. Bonk. Bonk, hook shot. Hook shot again, hook shot. Uh, gotta push some blocks. Wait. Oh. Maybe I have this wrong. Hammer. Hook shot here. Hook shot up. Right. And so I hit this so that I have a bonk spot. So I can get the chest now. Oh. You actually can't open that chest, can you? And then the idea is to bonk against this statue. Kind of like we just did in the previous section. I can wedge myself in here. For a little bit, at least. Alright. Lots of hook shots and bonks. Gotta be fast. Nope. I did the wrong thing. Let's reset. Got a hook shot to the right there. So. Nope. I. <sighs> yep. This is going great. It's going fantastic. Hook shot. Bonk. 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 Hook shot. Hook shot. Bonk. Bonk. Hook shot. Hook shot. Pick up the pot. Hook shot. Switch to hammer. Hook shot. Bonk. Hook shot. Bonk. Bonk. Ooh. 
statue got in my way. Because I have to come up here and do this. Do that. Do that. Do that. Screwed up at the very end there. I think I might have had that otherwise. Okay. Hookshot. Bonk. 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 Hookshot. Hookshot. Uh, bonk. Bonk. Hookshot. 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 Switch to hammer. Switch back to hookshot. Bonk, hook shot, bonk, bonk, hook shot, hook shot, hook shot, bonk, hook shot, hook shot, switch to hammer, switch back to hook shot. Okay, plenty of time. The bow. Interesting. would be faster if you were speed running this, but I'm not. I had to do all of this to get back over here without death warping. Power of Ice from Glacier Peak. I wonder if I need to do that now or if that's something I do later. I don't know. Do 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 do. And that was the only thing to do from the left side entrance, so let's try the back entrance. There's a big chest. Ooh. That's interesting. I wonder if the item in here is the Cane of Samaria. Is there just a wall along this entire... Oh. That doesn't seem like it's possible. 
I probably need the fire rod for that. Uh, okay. That's a lot of switches. this work? I can only put down two bombs at once. Oh, this is probably another spot that needs the Canis of Mario, where it's like, find the exact right spot to put your Samaria block. And it would flip one, two, three, four times. One, two, three, four. Which doesn't seem like it'd be enough, so maybe there's something more to it. Maybe it's like Can of Samaria and a bomb. And that gets you the number of flips you need. Oh, now I've locked the switches in that position. Alright, do I try to light all these torches? There's no way this works, right? Because this one's already going to be unlit, right? Yeah. So that doesn't work. Oh, and the switch is in the wrong position anyways. So the left side of the back seems like a bust. But I haven't explored the right. And the right side just requires the big key. What? What is going on here? Maybe I do need to go get the ice rod, like, right now. Uh, all right, let's explore a little bit more in the overworld. Because I don't think there's anything more I can do in this dungeon. But I picked up gloves. And there were a handful of things that needed gloves. Yeah, handful of gloves, get it. Here's some bonk rocks that has a fairy underneath. Have. Come on. No. Come back. Please. Thank you. Okay. Got my bottles full of fairies again. We can continue on our merry way. Uh, but not here. Ow! Oh, ah, oh, getting beat up by everything. Cool. 
Have I been in this cave? I think so. I think this is the one that... Oh! No, I appear to have not been in this cave. Well then. Or if I did, it's one of those things that didn't get saved. Yeah, I've been here. You must enter and re-enter many times. Oh, you're no longer on a layer where I can interact with you. Alright, that doesn't lead to anything. You go up here carefully. Oh, I... There's not even anything to do up there, so I shouldn't try to go up there. I should be going up here. Man, man. Go up here. And I can get into this cave. Neat. Okay. What's in here? I think I've been in here too. Oh, right. I have gloves now. I have gloves and a bow, which are two things I did not have before. So even though I haven't finished this dungeon, it feels like I need either... If that sign is to believe, I need Ice Rod for the right side puzzle. And it looks like I need... Kana Samaria for any of the backroom puzzles? Or Fire Rod? So where do I want to go with gloves now that I have gloves? Try going this way first. There's something. Lift. Hey, peace heart. What about down here? What was in here? Huh. Return trip for something. And I had originally suspected it would be whatever's over there. But that did not turn out to be the case. Right. I don't seem to be able to get past this tree. This is a whole gauntlet I went through to get the... what you calls it? The first bottle. Can't go that way. Let's see if there's anything more to this gauntlet. I don't think there is. Uh, can I? I think it's actually up a level higher than I am. And also, I don't...
Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's all that's up here. Alright, there's stuff on the mountain. I believe. And there's stuff... There's stuff in the town for the gloves. Um, there's stuff kind of everywhere that wants gloves. I remember seeing a lot of places, and I do not remember all, or really even most of them. <laughs> Let's go to town first. Okay, that requires better gloves than what I have. I already did this puzzle. Alright, that's just the shooting gallery minigame. That requires the fire rod, I believe. Well, I say that. Yeah, 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 it's the fire rod. I remember. This spot has always looked suspicious to me. I thought so. Okay, but I don't have the magic powder. Was there something in here that needed gloves? No. I got everything that was in here. Okay. I still haven't done whatever's in the basement of this building. But I think what it requires is hookshot, so I think maybe I can now. Or at least that's my hope. Okay. That's it? Feels like there should be something more. Aha! I 
knew there was something more. Piece of heart. That's probably all there is here. Just giving the edges another pass. Man, this hideout is not very safe. This required gloves? Yeah, for a hint. I'll take a hint. Okay. Mm. Also good to know that there are 20 heart containers. I could probably figure out how many I have so far. I started with three. Hang on, I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Started with three. I've gotten, I think, three heart containers, maybe four. And then the rest are heart pieces. If it's three heart containers, then I've gotten five hearts in. Oh, that doesn't sound right. That doesn't sound right at all. If it's three and four, all 20 heart containers, not all 20 heart pieces. So there's probably still, that said, I have a lot of heart pieces, I am realizing. Alright, let's go this way. Because I think this cave also needed gloves. Yeah. Ooh, I'm gonna die. I just want rupees. I don't wanna die. Lucky 777. Okay. So I know there's new stuff I can explore over here with the gloves. Hideout. That's it? I thought there was going to be more over here. But it doesn't appear so. That appears to be the only place I can get to. Huh.
Well, I can't return this way. There's not even a spot for me to, like, hop into the lake. That's unfortunate. Alright. And I guess... We're going this way. I don't need to fall down there. You're still looking for a book. But you have some hearts in these. Which I would like just to have this stop beeping at me. Alright, I haven't been back here since the first stream, when I had no tools. Now I have many tools. Let's see what I can find. Go away, please. No, my rupees and bomb. Okay, so that's where I was earlier. So I actually was able to access more of this forest than I th thought, I guess? Ooh! That's a lot. Uh... Hi. Oh, I gotta run over here now. I'm amazed I didn't get hit there. And that was just for some rupees, though, huh? Okay. Sure. Ooh, I could use a fairy here. Uh, which is to say, I might die. But, I didn't. I made it through. Oh, I don't want to see that here. There's the pedestal. Eh. Yeah. Oh, I actually can't get over there. Okay. Did not expect that. Heart would be nice. Sometime soon. That's a bomb. Let's... The opposite of a heart. And that's me taking damage. It's a good thing I have fairies in bottles. Stop stealing all of my bombs. You jerk. <laughs> Oh, I could have... I don't know what item is on the bush crab, naturally. Hey, Camavax, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. Uh... Oh, man. Alright. You're not wrong. Other hideout on Zora's Lake. Oh. That was the hint about the glove. Which I already picked up.
So what is this over here? It's house. What's in the house? Piece of heart. I forget what tools I need to do this puzzle, because I think I figured it out at one point. Right, I need the fire rod to do this. <laughs> and there's a cave. What's in- oh right, this room. Do you remember this? Right, and I remember thinking I need the fire rod to do that. Uh, let's start from let's start from the hideout. And look for places to use the gloves or the bow. Oh, I can move that. Oh, I just maxed out my wallet. Is there anything good to buy with a bunch of rupees? Well, that's interesting. I did not realize I could move that on my own. I just kind of tried that on a whim, not really expecting it to do anything. And yet, it did something. Uh, oh, there's stuff I can get to down here. Hello does not appear to be new stuff. I can go in here. I don't think I've been in this lake. Or a long lake. Okay. Ah, here's something new. Uh, I'll take that heart. What do we got? This looks like it's another kill room. Which means I want to act fast before we start getting overwhelmed by fish. There we go. Yeah. So that's neat. Not progress, but neat. I wonder how one gets to Glacier Peak. Well, I mean, supposedly, but theoretically, it sounds like it's a mountain of some kind, so maybe we should go check out the mountains. <laughs> I wonder if I should go buy a potion. 
Sure, you know what? Since I'm completely full on money, let's go buy a red potion. Yeah, full on money. And full of wallet, empty of bottle. Basically. Is this the side that has potions? No. Potion! Potion me. Plus. save and quit from there because it's a bit of a walk back to the mountains and I have to go directly past Link's house anyways. Anytime you want to let me play the game would be nice. Thank you. Uh, yeah. What's up here? Well, that's a spot I could have jumped into the river. Yeah, you know what? Let's jump into the river and see where that takes us. Water. Okay. me to a piece of heart. Cool. I'll take it. Uh, it looks like I could maybe hookshot back over the gap there. Which is good because I can't do anything else over here. I think I m must have to hookshot back over the gap. Which makes sense because I think you have to have the hookshot before you get the flippers in this game. Ow. Stupid landmine. Wait. Oh. Oh, you can just walk through that. Okay, well. Cool. I got a piece of heart. That's what matters. the bridge down here. Oh, here's somewhere I could go. This is a new place. Oh, there's a lot going on here. What is this? What is this? It's got music like it's a dungeon. Push that block. I probably didn't.
I don't know that I'm going to be able to do whatever puzzle this is. This might require the fire rod. Uh, but I might be able to do it. Oh. A bit quiet here because I'm trying to figure out what it is exactly I need to do. So, so clearly the goal is to light all three torches. Uh, light all four torches because there's one over there apparently. Um, with the usual restrictions that, excuse me, that entails. Flip the blocks the other way and came in through the other door. What could I do now? Not much. Oh. Okay. I understand now. I get it. I have to reset though. Alright. Step one. Come in through here, pick up this pot, and yeah, you do this as well. Step two, you go hit the switch. Step three, you go in the far left side. You push this where the pot was and that up there. Now we need to go flip the switches again. I think I may have screwed this up. Let's see. That was there. If I push this from here to there, then I can take that block and push it up. But 
how do I get into that? Clearly need red down. Oh, wait. Maybe I can just do this. No. No, okay, I've screwed this up. Time to reset. All right. I think I have the first couple of steps figured out. Definitely want to pick up this pot. I definitely want to push these around to make a path. Uh, and then I go flip the switch. Confident about all of this so far. I push this block here to the left and the block above it up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we go in here come around this way so this goes to the left this goes up and now I go flip the switch again and now I can come around I can push this up and I can push that up. And now I'll have access to all of the torches when orange is down. Which means I just have to go and light them all quickly enough. Ooh, wait, hang on. Okay, I do, but the path isn't particularly short. Can I push this down? No. So I have to be pretty quick about it. I think I want to start here. Okay, where did the ah uh, the chest appeared over there? Good. What's in the chest? Pizza heart. Okay. Well, that was an awful lot of work for a single piece of heart, but I am trying to be completionist about this, so it's gonna have to do it eventually. And I prefer this than the uh, to the statue race earlier. What's in here? I do not know what this means. Am I supposed to be able to kill both of those? Is there some, like, nonsense... Here, throw a bomb at me. Oh, 
I have no earthly idea how I would kill both the enemies in that room. Or rather, kill the far back enemy. Because obviously I killed the bomb thrower by just letting him die to his own bombs. Ooh, those ghosts pack a punch. I think. This seems suspicious. That's a bee. I don't think this is a hammer peg, but it doesn't hurt to check. Oh, that's weird. This looks like another bulk grave. Yep. So kill all the undead. Got it. These are annoying to fight with just the fighter sword, but... That's where we're at. That's one. Is it like a kill all enemies on the super tile sort of thing? Get them all in this room. Looks like it. Okay. What about up here? Pompey's most treasured possession. Well, in Link to the Past, in Ocarina of Time, it's the hookshot, but I already have the hookshot. 
So, the shovel? The shovel. Shovel. Hmm. Alright. What can I do with the shovel, I wonder? I think I know of at least one thing. Um. But I'm not gonna go worry about it right now. over here. A sign. Warning. Watch out for deep water and Zora scams. Ooh. to get a heart. Okay. Don't, can't reach that way. Can I reach if I go this way? Oh, maybe if I go specifically right there. Hey! Hi. Okay. Oh! Okay, I found the potion shop. Uh, all right, let's jump into the water. Oh, maybe I should have stayed on land? Um, yeah, I should have stayed on land, okay. Okay, so this is the reset point, is I climb up this ladder, and let's do some hookshotting. got a cave. Let's go in the cave. What's in the cave? Oh, hello. Some wizard robes.
Found the switch. Those statues look suspicious, though. Yeah, I thought something was up. A bee! Is it a good bee, I take it? Maybe. I don't know, I don't intend to find out. Really? That's it? Zora scams, huh? Let's see what that's about. Yes. Sure. Okay. So don't actually get ether from that. But I do get a heart piece, so it's not a complete ripoff. Ah, is this the waterfall I can go through? It sure is. It takes me to Graveyard Ledge. It's like Entrance Randomizer all over again. Ooh, a chest? 20 rupees. Womp womp. So, what was the whole point of coming here? Was there a point? I got like 70 rupees and a heart piece? Two heart pieces? actually head up the mountain. There's at least one spot where I know gloves are required that I want to check out. Okay, I think that's how I need to reset. Is I do this. And I do this, and I run up here, and we go this way. Because yeah, this is what gets me to where I need to be. Ow. Right. And then I have to double back, so I can hit that switch. And then here I want to take the north route. Yeah, 
And we're up on the mountain. Okay. So I think this is this somewhere I can go with clubs or was this I think this was can of Samaria that I needed. Yeah. Okay. So, according to the map I made previously, I want to drop down here, I want to go in here. And I forget which of the two exits I need to take. Let's try the one that's not jumping down the pit first. Because if this is wrong, I can always jump down the pit, uh, which it is. And I want to go in this cave. This needed gloves. Aha! That's how you get this piece of heart. That's neat. This doesn't help me actually get to where I need to be. Where am I supposed to be going? I legitimately do not know at this point. Well, I did just get the shovel. Maybe I can do something with that? Seems unlikely, but not impossible. I also have the bow and arrow that I haven't used yet. Right, 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 right. This is not where I want to go.
And I think this only gets me over here. So that's not helpful. there's a reason for me to be up here. You know, in the vanilla game, the, uh, the shovel leads to the flute. So maybe I'm supposed to find the flute and use that to get somewhere. Oh, I can go south of the quarry now. So that would be somewhere to go. This is just me back in the village again. This wasn't anything, right? Yeah, this is a comment about mushroom hunting in Kana Canyon, which we already found the witch. Don't have the mushroom yet, though. somewhere new I can get to with gloves. It's also getting to the point where I'm starting to wonder if I just missed something. Oh god. Okay. Um... I did not realize I needed to get going right away. Oh, I've been here before, haven't I? Yep, I sure have. This looks familiar. Yeah. Let's try again. This time, ah. Poe Family Manor. Is that an entire full-on dungeon? And if so, can I actually complete it? Oh, 
Oh, that's a candelabra. Oh, that's clever. That's clever. That's some very clever decoration. Alright, where do I go? Let's try going this way. This looks like a return path to something. I was coming over here because I'm like, huh, that little... You see how these two books have a deeper shadow than the same spot on the other bookcases? I found a crystal switch. Alright, I gotta pay attention to the bookcases, I guess. Now, did I want to flip a crystal switch? I don't know. Uh, oh, now I've been cornered. That's great. here now. Seems like a neat place to be. Hi there, Mario. I don't know why you're in a painting, but uh, I guess Luigi will be here soon to rescue you. <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Let's try going this way. Over here. Okay, it did reset the state of those switches. I should be using the hookshot here. Spooky. Got it. That's where you find out about the bookshelf. What happens if I get down here? The basement. Ah! Yep, there's one on both sides. Ow. Let's go north. So many skeleton heads. Alright, I didn't actually press the switch back here. So that opens the door. On the floor. 
everybody. Walk the dinosaur. You can go this way now. Okay. Oh, wait, no, that that's useful. Okay, I understand. Understand what you're putting down here, video game. Ta-da! Let's go north. Ooh. Probably want the hammer out. Ooh, yep. Was this room just a trap? Sure looks like it. Okay. Huh. Okay, what was the purpose of all of that? Don't know. A lot of work for seemingly nothing. Goody. Just what I always wanted, the low health noise. Very clever, very clever. Ooh. Uh, I don't need that in a bottle, so I'll just put it in my body. Huh. How does one get down here where the switch is in the other position? That's an interesting question. Oh, well, not one I can answer from here. Ooh, almost got grabbed. Now I'm back here. Hmm. What happens if I go up this way? We're in some kind of banquet hall. Let's 
got slime dripping from the ceiling. That seems unsanitary. <coughs> We've got a place where I could spend a small key. to need another small key. Yeah, of course it's the one. Okay. I'm going to need to spend a bunch of small keys up here on this floor. Good to know. So it seems like the goal of this dungeon is to find a bunch of small keys. Let's try doing stuff on the left side. Like, where does this go? Isn't this... Yeah, that's just back to the banquet hall. There's a small key. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I want to go down here. I would like to go down here. Ow. I'd like to hit this switch. I'm currently operating under the assumption it is possible for me to complete this dungeon. I don't know if that's a good assumption or not, but... Until proven otherwise, that is how we shall act. Oh, I wonder if I should... Hang on. Hang on. I beg your pardon? I... Okay. Sure, I'm here now. I did not expect that. So am I back where I was? Where is this? Oh. Huh. And both of those are fake prizes. Fascinating. Okay. Well, I have one more small key. That allows me to make progress up here. I need to go hit the switch again, don't I? Because I need blue down. Alright, I've got a small key. 
gonna use it in this room. And we're gonna hope to find a switch and a small key. I found the switch, but not the small key. Interesting. So we're not done here. Need one more small key. Because that door is locked. Okay, so I was thinking there was something suspicious in this room. Oh, I should... I need to go flip the switch again. Also just try to kill all the enemies in this room. Easier said than done, with infinitely generating slimes. Okay, that didn't seem to do anything. Red down right now. Okay. Okay, I think the shadow that dropped down over here was just one of these infinitely generating slimes. The only other place where I haven't done, found a key, is that bed. So, if I go this way, I need to kill these again. Okay. That just goes back here. Hang on. I am a bit lost. Okay, I know where I needed to go instead. I just went the wrong way. <clears throat> 
Nope. This isn't it either. It's up this way. Yeah. This was just the hint, right? Yeah. But going down, I think there's something I didn't figure out here. You think one of these million pots has a key under it? Oh, wow. Those do a lot of damage. At least three hearts, because I didn't have the low health beeping noise. Good to know. I just haven't figured out whatever weird behavior is going on here. Ooh. Okay, I have to go in this room. I have to kill the turtles in here. this door. to make out. That's all it was, is I just missed that. Well, this is creepy. So painful and laggy. <laughs> I need to kill all the enemies so that a treasure chest appears. That's weird.
Windfish. Hmm. Oh, good. I killed the windfish. Nice. Can I escape the nightmare? No, the nightmare continues. Those are not real chests. Nope, they sure aren't. I'm wondering if one of them secretly is. And that's sort of the joke here. It's not a here to be the case. Oh. Okay, that's a real laser eye. CG, 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 C. <laughs> uh, I don't want to wake up. I don't want to go to school. Okay. Let's wake up. Uh. Oh, there's a warp. Seems to be the only thing in this room. So let's take it. Okay. don't have a fairy in a bottle. I am very close to dying. Uh, I don't want to use my potion here, though. There's some health. That's nice. Alright. When I'm done with this, I want blue down high. Alright. Maybe I should have just death warped, honestly. Ow! I may end up unintentionally death warping. Okay, blue is down. So I can ignore all that. And just go... Maybe I farm these for a little bit for some health. They're easy to kill. Yeah. wasn't so bad as far as health farms go. Alright, now we go down this way. Come in here. We flip the switch. We go out here. Watch out for the fire bars. Finally, we've made it through this door. Oh good, I have to wait through this. Ah. 
Ow. Almost done. There we go. Let's go back in here, because I saw a million pots in this room. And I'm hoping for some health or a fairy. Instead, it is a full complement of bombs. Figure that out in a bit. What's in your wallet? Switch, so I can go. Yeah, let's go this way while I have the switch in the correct position. Hint. S oh boy, okay. Six brothers lived here. Abner hated the dark. Bostwick lived across the hall from Ebenezer. Carrick loved to read. Dan Forth and Bostwick lived next to each other, and Ebenezer drank often. Fletcher lived across the hall from Carrick. Alright. So we've got Love to Read, Afraid of the Dark. Afraid of the dark. Nothing. Love to drink. Love to drink and read. So, alright, let's write this down. So, we've got books in the upper left. We've got a torch in the upper right. We've got a torch in the middle left. We've got nothing in the middle right. We've got books and booze. in the bottom left and we've got just booze in the bottom right okay now Abner hated the dark so Abner was in one of the two torch rooms got it Bostwick lived across the hall from Ebenezer Carrick loved to read okay Danforth and Bostwick lived next to each other. So, a torch. Hang on, let's just start from the beginning. Bostwick, B across E. Uh, C books. D next to B. E uh, 
Foos and F across from C. Okay. So if B is across from E and F is across from C, then A is across from D. We don't know anything about D other than D was next to B. Uh, all right. So, if A is in the upper right corner, so things I can infer, like I said, A is across from D. That means A and E are on the same side. And if A and E are on the same side, E likes booze, A likes a torch. Hmm. C likes books. So, ah, C likes to read. If C is in, the problem is C is across from F. So if C is down here with these books, then F is over here, but that means there's no spot for E who likes to drink. So that means C is not down here, which means C is at the only other spot with books, which is up here. So this is C, this is F. Uh, now A wants a torch. So this is C, this is F. A hates the dark, so A needs to be in the other room with a torch. So this is A. Uh, across from A, like I said, is going to be D. D is next to B. So, we have... C is up here. F is over here. Uh, we have D in here. A over there. E is down here. And B is down here. Cool. Now, what do I do with this information? I don't know. But I assume that I'm going to learn when I go up this way. Start in Danforth's room. Okay. Wait five seconds. Walk to Abner's room. Throw a bomb in his bed and wait for five seconds. Okay. Walk to Bostwick's room, throw a bomb on his bed, and wait for five seconds. Go to Ebenezer's room. Wow, that's convoluted. Okay, hang on. I gotta... I gotta write this down now. So. D. Wait five. A. Bomb. Wait five. B. Bomb. Wait five. E switch wait five and then F. Okay. So let's switch over to bombs. So, 
Go to D. Wait for five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Go to A. Throw a bomb on the bed. Wait for five seconds. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Go to B. Throw a bomb on the bed. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Go to E. Pull a switch. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. Okay, and then go to F for the treasure. Easy, piece of cake. Ooh, there's another treasure. <laughs> That's... Okay, cool. Uh, can I get out of this? No. Nope. Okay. Oh, that's... That hurts. Okay. That's cool. That's cool and good. That's what I get for opening random treasure chest, I guess. Alright, I'm gonna die. Uh, I can farm health here. This isn't even where I'm supposed to be going now that I think about it. I need to go this way. Now that I have the big key, I go up here. And I go through this door. Okay. Those spikes are suspicious to me. I don't know what to make of them. I'm gonna go pull on all these statues to see if any of them move. Doesn't seem like it. Got a spike maze? Yeah. Ow. I'm gonna die in the spike maze. Hold up. Aha! There's a reason why it's spikes and not walls. So that I can do that. Uh, hi. Was not expecting you. You're not normally a difficult boss when you get to this phase of the fight, but, uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting it, so... Alright, I'll take that death. Do this. Do I remember where the fairy in a pot was? No. No, I do not. So I'm not going to worry about it.
I think those spikes just exist as a gotcha trap if you're rushing through that room too quickly. Let's go in with a sword charge. Oh. What? Why do you have a thing now? Oh. I wonder if that was what was supposed to happen the first time and it didn't for some reason. Oh boy, that was a lot of work for a flute. I wonder how you activate it. <laughs> well, it does seem like everything. I wonder if you get something for actually killing Argus in in that room. Oh, it comes pre-activated. Okay, well that opens things up. Does this do what I think it does? It does. Maybe there's not a dark world. I'm starting to think that there's not a dark world. Ooh, this is spooky looking. Don't like that. How does this work? I don't know. More money. Which I'll take. I'll gladly accept that cash. I suspect that this is where I need to go. I should make a point of checking all of the flute spots. Uh, just in case any of the rest of them get me to places I otherwise couldn't go. Glacier Peak. So this is supposed to have the ice rod in it. Let's try to do this and then call it a night. Well, actually, maybe I should stop now. Now, let's try to do this and then I'll call it a night. Hopefully this isn't too long. That happened to be a particular thing that I saw in someone else's stream. I mean, it's not like there's a ton of options for how to interact here, so like, it's not a huge spoiler. But it is the first, it is interesting to note that it's the first spot where I've needed the, uh, 
the bow and arrow. Which I had to get out of the Royal Catacombs. So this is the first time it's been clear to me that, like, yes, I needed to go to the Royal Catacombs first. And revisit. Oh boy. Uh, okay. We'll go left first. Now I could just double back to go down, but let's try hitting that and then continuing along the path. Okay. Ah, but I can't do anything here with the switch in this position. So that's a preview. I need to <clears throat> get here with the switches in the other position. Cool. I'm going to leave them down for now, though. Hang on. Yeah. I think I want to go south next at the central intersection. Ooh, hang on. I just noticed something. This is actually a passageway I could walk through. Uh-huh. All right, we'll come back to that in a minute. Oh. Oh, well, that's useless, isn't it? Unless, hmm, might not be useless, but there might be shenanigans afoot. I think step one is Go through this, put red down, come over here, Nice. Then I can go this way, back to the center, and go to the right, where I can spend this key. Uh, that was weird. Um, let's take this pipe first. So what weird, dumb boomerang tricks can I do here? It feels like what I'm supposed to be doing. I just don't know how yet. I can go this way. There's a switch I could hit. I can pull that. Hmm. I feel like I need to come from the other direction on that. I don't know, that may have been a mistake.
Wait, I have... This should work, right? Yeah. Okay. But this is stopped by... So an arrow is stopped by that block. So I can't do that yet. There's probably only one way, yeah. There is something weird going on up there. Don't know what yet. Uh, okay. So, what else can I do down here? Can't get to that door or that switch. Without using dumb boomerang tricks, which I think is what I'm supposed to be doing. Just wish I knew where to aim the boomerang. That would make it arc the correct way. Like this isn't gonna do it. That's not it. <clears throat> Maybe I can't do anything here yet? That doesn't seem right. I think it's from this side. I can't throw while I'm in here. Oh, no, I'm doing the wrong thing. I think I just figured it out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. It's... Oh, I missed. But you see what I'm trying to do there, right? Okay. Boom. Got there. Now, does this help me? Because I don't actually have another key. No, I do not. All right. Well, given how the rest of this dungeon has been going, I think there's something to be done in here. Almost. It's like I need to time it slightly differently. I need to wait for it to like almost hit me. Almost get back to me. No, that was too long.
It's also too long. Maybe like right as it's turning around. Perfect. Nailed it. There's like a ice giant skeleton in this cave. I just instinctively dashed there and hoped that it worked out and it did. Oh crap, okay. Uh, pause buffering to follow the path. Got it. It's this one, I think. Yay, we did it. Small key. What happens if I go in the warp that's up here, I wonder? Oh, cool. I'll take it. Uh, I need to hit the switch again. Let's do it this way. And just... I have to hit the switch again, don't I? So it was like... There we go. I'm gonna go this way... No. I need to hit the switch again. But this time... From over here. Hit the switch from over here. This is not great music for an entire dungeon. It's very repetitive. Okay, now I have to hit this switch again because I had to come in here with red down. So, but I figured this puzzle out already. I just need to redo it. Yeah, pretty easy once you know what you're doing. Yeah, these pots are still going to be empty. What is this? It's a map. This is a map.
This is a you are here. Did that room? Oh no, I haven't done this room yet because I need some stuff. There's a chest there. There's like a fairy room apparently in one of these. But, the interesting thing that I'm supposed to see from this map, I'm pretty sure, are these two sets of question marks. One there, okay, question marks are holes, and one there. So, that's interesting. I don't actually need the keys to get in here. I already have that knowledge. Unless there's something... Okay, so... There's a path out of the bottom right of the ice skeleton room. And there's a path... And then there's something to the left... Middle left statue. Okay. And let's just... Uh... Oh, excuse me. <sighs> I just took a screenshot of this side so that I could have access to a map later if I deem it necessary. Right, this room had weird switches. There was a key to go this way and a big key to go that way. Let's go see what these question marks are. That is an interesting way to make a dungeon map when you don't natively have one in the game. would rather have red down or no blue down since we're going back this way now yeah again once you find the spot where you do the thing, it's it's not hard to do. Ow. So down here... Huh. Okay. Now what am I looking at here? Can I cheese this? Yes, absolutely I can cheese this. Which is good, because I honestly don't know what the legit solution is, but... I do love a good cheese strat. Okay. Right. 
<clears throat> actually, I can probably save some time by... See, this is one of those things I was... I am glad that I wasn't spoiled on the entirety of this dungeon. Middle left statue is weird. Weird, like... That's pretty weird. Okay. Alright. So we got a big key and a small key out of that. How do I use them? Well, step one is to flip the switches again. Step two is avoid the anti-fairies. Eh. Right, right, right. Oh, yeah, I think it was up this way. You, like, do... Oh, I need red down, don't I? Yeah, I need red down. No. Well, yes. Sorry. I'm getting mixed up. I need red down, but I need to go down there. So I need to go this way. Because I want to actually just go down the stairs here and go north. Go up these stairs here. And this is where we're trying to get to. <clears throat> okay, let's hit the switch. Since that's easy enough. Found the pillar room. It's not seem like there's much I can do here other than hit that switch, which lets me go here, which lets me go down here. Health would be nice. Thank you. There's the big chest.
So there's an invisible maze here. Hit that switch. Okay. <clears throat> That's what I want to do. <clears throat> Hit the switch again. And now I can get to the right side while the switch is in this position by doing some bonks and hook shots like this. They made this room harder. And this takes me off the super tile to reset it. So that I have to actually do this combat again. Okay, I get it. There's the ice rod. Do I have to do the loop again, but with the switches in the other position this time? I think so. I think that's how this works. Oh, so, ice rod hunt complete. There's clearly still more to do here, so we're not going to call it done yet. Reset the super tile. I'm going to end up using this fairy. Counts as free space. Good to know. This lets me reset the super tile. Oh! Huh. Okay. I never knew about the properties of thrown frozen enemies before. So that's interesting. They go much further than, like, bombs you throw. I don't have a key for this room. So... I have to go back? which is in this position.
So we've got enemy only gaps here. Interesting. Oh no, I do need to hit the switch because I can't get back to where I need to be without hitting the switch. Which means we're gonna have to do that whole loop another time. So, with the switch in the blue position, I pull this. Uh-oh, I triggered a snake. <laughs> and the snake's going to beat me up. I'm going to pick up the frozen snake. Hit that. Okay, well, I hope I didn't need it anymore because I was incapable of maintaining it for any longer. Well, that's not ideal. All right. Reset the super tile. Toss to get there. What? What do I gain by going down there? Let's go this way first. This may be a mistake, but. No, really? Okay. This puzzle is a lot more intricate than I originally gave it credit for. Oh, I think I see. Okay. Let's freeze a snake. Pick up snake. Throw the snake at the switch. Pick up the snake again. Throw the snake over there. Hit the switch. Hook shot. Okay, I am understanding the intricacies. That's not what I wanted to do though. Uh, shoot, I didn't need to reset there. I could have still managed that. But you can kind of see what it is I have to do, right? It's escort this frozen snake through the entire room making sure not to accidentally kill it somewhere so that I have it on the other end of the room. Did 
This one's a bonk. That's a hook shot. That's a hook shot. That's a hook shot. That's a hook shot. Throw it over there. Bonk. Bonk across this gap, because the hook shot killed the snake. Throw it over here. Bonk backwards. Hook shot down here. Uh, I guess I can bonk across that gap. Throw into that pocket up there. All for this key. Alright. Are these switches... No. So I need to go back and hit the switch again. And I can do it the much, much simpler way. By just shooting it. I go up here, I shoot that, Ooh, I miss, shoot that, um, okay, come down here a little bit, thank you, uh, wait, I don't know, this is a good idea. I can, never mind, I reset it here regardless. Ooh, I don't want that, oh, I wanted that heart. that so I can do this and now finally I can go in here Ooh, got a moving floor to reset the switch you must backtrack two rooms yeah I gotta get off the super tile basically so it's gonna be another pull a switch drop some snakes Figure out how to get the the snake across while well, frozen. Ooh, two snakes. I wonder if I need to use them both. All right, where can I put these? have an idea. Had an idea. She's so saying that this is going to fail too? Hmm. Okay. I think I see what I need to do. Uh, I need more magic, though. Oop. 
Ups. This should be good. Alright. Hold the switch. Get ready to free some snakes. Alright. I think I have spotted a flaw in my plan. Which is namely that I don't know how to actually get up there. What I think I need to do is step one is that step two How do I get over there? Oh. Never mind, it's super easy, isn't it? It's just hookshot there. Okay. Step two, do this. Then come back, pick this up. And we're gonna bounce a snake off of another snake. Like so. Perfect. And that leaves the snake that bounced somewhere I can get it. And the reason this divot is here is so I can do this. Perfect. Okay. I figured it out. There's a full magic, that's nice. Okay, and now I can do that. Oh boy, this looks like a nightmare. Real quick. play from the stream preview, but I'm going to put this map up over here. See what we've got. So this is going to drop some number of snakes. I need to hit that switch. Because if I go down here right now, I can't do anything. Got it. All right. Where did, oh, there's one of them. All right, I've got to be fast and also accurate. Okay. We'll just wait another cycle, it's fine. This is fine. So basically, we gotta do that, but again. OK. 
Okay, I hit the switch. Now I can just safely ride this back. Now I can go down here. Ah, I see. And I'm looking for whatever's under that pot. Maybe. So the reason I'm hearing two is because this room and the room above it are on the same super tile. And so when you pull one of those switches, both snakes get dropped. Got it. Oh, 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 oh no. Okay. Switch to hook shot, hook shot, uh, hook shot, pick up, throw, hook shot, hook shot. Good enough. We take those. This is more, more use than the ice rod ever got in vanilla. In vanilla, the ice rod is useful for exactly one thing, and that one thing is killing Trinex. So I find it interesting how they've actually made puzzles that involve ice rod like they found a way to make it actually block progress fairies is there a boss here no i'm just trying to get to this okay i'm trying to get to this here's the boss Oh, are you damaged by Ice Rod? No. I see. Uh, I wasted some magic. I hope that doesn't come back to bite me. Ooh, that feels like it will. So now I need to do that. This is a fascinating take on Mothula. And then I have to kill these. Nice! Okay, I didn't even have to use my potion. not get that oh right I wouldn't have run out of magic because I always always have these to kill and they might drop magic I guess I can't okay cool And all of that, and I'm back here.
okay, that was Glacier Peak. I now have the Ice Rod. Next time we're going back to the Royal Catacombs, because there's now more stuff I can do there. Um, but we got through two and a half dungeons, I guess, plus a bunch of overworld exploration. Like, we got through all of Poe Manor and Glacier Peak. And part of Royal Catacombs, I don't know how in-depth that's going to end up being. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, but that that is going to do it for the stream tonight. Uh, come back Thursday. We'll have more Gerudo Exile. Uh... 7 p.m. Central Time, you know, normal stream time. Friday is going to be uh, Full Stupid Fridays, as I've been calling it. TFS Fridays. I think that's the command. Uh, oh, that is... That command needs updating. I'm actually going to be starting at 7 p.m. Central Time, and my cutoff point is going to be 9 p.m. Central Time. Because uh, last week went kind of long. Um, and I want to make it a little bit more reasonable. So. Come back on Friday for that. Uh, Sunday. We finally have figured out. What we're doing as a backup plan. For Game Watch. Um, due to one of our hosts. Having some internet issues. Which. Beyond our control to repair at the moment. Uh, so. So. Sunday, we're going to be playing Worms uh, WMD. Uh, and it'll be me and James and Aaron. Sh should be a good time. Uh, that'll be over at twitch.tv slash the con save. Uh, con save. I should just make a command for Game Watch, I am realizing just now, somehow. I don't know. Um, also, follow me on social media. Uh, I've got a Twitter account. I post there when I'm going live. I've got a YouTube channel that I'm putting up my playthrough of this very game. Um, and I've got a Discord where I make announcements about my weekly schedule and announcements about when I'm going live. So, links are there in the chat. Uh, that's going to do it for tonight. Thank you all for joining me. Let's go see if there's anyone I want to raid. I'm pretty sure the answer is a big, fat, a no... Because there's never anyone that I want to write. Because. Yeah. No one I know well enough to raid is streaming at this hour. Which is probably smart of them. Uh, yeah, that's going to do it. Uh, good night, everyone. Have a good evening. Take care of yourself. All that good stuff. Uh, and yeah, bye.